Hi, and thanks for joining. My name is Elena Nicole. I am owner of Elena Nicole Health, certified health coach and personal trainer. And today I am doing a short video as part of Mindset Monday series. And we are going to be talking about motivation. So for these Mindset Monday videos, I am talking about our most, one of our most powerful, free, most under, underutilized tools that we all have that can help us reach and maintain our goals that most of us do not use to its full capacity. And that is our brain. Why is our brain so important and why I'm so obsessed with it? Because every single thing that we do or don't do is driven by a thought. The thoughts that we think create feelings that we feel, which drive actions that we either take or don't take, going to the gym, not going to the gym, eating three pieces of pizza, eating one, is all driven by the thoughts and the feelings that we are able to create. And then of course, all of that produces a result, whether that's leading you closer to a weight loss goal, getting a new job, whatever that may be, is all initially driven by our thinking, which is amazing because we have control over our thoughts and our feelings. So today, like I mentioned, I am talking all about motivation because it's one of the most popular things that I get asked. How do you stay motivated? How do you stay consistent? What do you do when you're not feeling motivated? And I always start off by saying that I am intrinsically motivated to do the things every single day to carry out my healthy habits and routines like 5% of the time, almost never. When I wake up in the morning to get my gym workouts in at 4.45 on the weekdays, I do not just wake up and jump out of bed with this natural motivation, I'm not gonna lie. But there's a couple key things that are really, really amazing and cool to know that allow me to still get up and do the thing. Number one is we do not need motivation to actually carry out with what we say we're going to do. If we have a clear plan, we have a clear why and, and a commitment to what we're going to do, we can rely on any action driving, inspiring emotion to actually carry, carry forward with that activity. The example I always give, like I mentioned, my alarm goes off at 4.45 a.m. and I wake up and I don't have this natural sense of motivation, but I am able to rely on commitment to myself. I know that I said I'm getting up and getting that workout in so I can remind myself of those things that actually remind me of that sense of commitment, that dedication to my goals, and it will get me out of bed in the morning. The second thing is that we can actually create motivation with our thinking as long as we know that that is a possibility. So going back to that same example, when I wake up, I am typically feeling tired and unmotivated, but it's all due to the way I'm thinking about the actual, actual activity, not the activity itself. It's usually, I don't feel like doing this. I really wanna stay in bed. So when we can start to identify what those thoughts are that are creating that feeling for us, many times you know, unmotivated or whatever it is, we can question them and decide, do I actually wanna keep thinking this? Is it going to give me the results that I'm, the actions and the results that I want, or do I want to decide intentionally how I want to think instead? And that is literally what I do in almost every situation. It's rewiring our brain and creating new thought habits. So basically, when I wake up in the morning again, going back to that same situation, and I have that thought in my mind, I'm tired, I can do it tomorrow, I don't feel like doing this, I don't want to do it, and I get that feeling of unmotivated and uninterested and sometimes pointless or purposeless, um, I can then decide, nope, that's actually not what I'm going to think right now. I'm going to think about how I want to feel after I'm done. I know I'm going to feel great when I'm done. I committed to this, so I am going to get up and do it and to do it. And I repeat that action and of those thought um, shifts every single day when I wake up, which leads me to the result of getting up more often than not, reaching my goals sooner than I would otherwise, or maybe not at all. And it is extremely, extremely effective. So the key takeaways here are number one, we do not need motivation to actually carry through with the actions that, that are going to get us closer to reach our goals. We can rely on any action driving emotion, any inspiring emotion that we are able to drum up with our thinking whether that's commitment, dedication, persistence, whatever works for you. And then second, but we actually can create motivation with our thinking. So if we decide what are those thoughts that can create motivation for us, we can practice repeating them over and over and over again and replace those ones that are on, that are habitual, that are automatic, that are 
typically already wired into our brain, getting us exactly to where we are today, but we want to go somewhere different. So we have to start repeating and practicing those new thoughts that will bring a new feeling that will then drive a different action and produce a new result. So many times we think that we need something outside of us. We need a new workout. We need an accountability partner. We need a new meal plan, an amazing recipe book, and that will get us re-motivated. That will create motivation for us. And the thing is, those things are helpful sometimes because they can help us to think more motivating thoughts, but we do not need them, which for me was the most empowering, amazing thing to know because then I don't have to continuously search for these outside sources, these external solutions to a problem that I could internally solve myself, literally using my thinking and my brain. So when you get started with this, you're likely going to notice some of these things after the fact. Maybe it's after you do something you either did want to or didn't want to do. I encourage you to start there and start seeing if you can identify what is that thought that drove you to do the thing that you either wanted to or didn't want to. What was that thought and kind of feeling combination? Like the example I gave, the thought of I want to stay in bed, I'm tired is likely going to keep me help me or push me to turn, hit the snooze button on my alarm and put my head back down on the pillow versus getting up. And I'm not going to lie. I do that sometimes more majority of the time that I don't, I don't. So start to look at it after the fact, what drove me to get where I got and just look at it with complete curiosity and compassion. Do not judge yourself because that is not where we want to go here. We want to learn from this. So we can actually improve. So start there. Then once you do that repetitively and start to notice what's driving your actions, then you can start to slow it down and catch yourself in the situation. Like when you're, you open your eyes from, with my example, what am I thinking here? What am I feeling here? And then you can start to catch yourself before. So now when I go to bed at night, I know for sure I'm going to have to wake up and recycle and repeat those thoughts. I'm ready to go. It's like getting my sneakers out. I'm getting my thoughts ready to prepare myself for, you know, what I know is going to come the next day. And if you want to get started with something right now, go to the link in my bio or in the caption of this video, and you can download my healthy habits checklist, things that I do every single day that include both of what I've mentioned before, the mentality and the technicality, the thinking, but also some of the specifics, the tangibles, like the eating and the exercising and run through that checklist, start to implement them in your daily life. And then let me know how it goes for you.